everyone, I'm Matt Deramidis, and welcome to Fitness for Summer 2020 21st Century Programming. This is AJ, he just graduated kindergarten, he's now a first grader. Yeah, AJ. Hi. All right, so you're gonna see him at the beginning of every single video before the lesson. He's gonna be in there to show the importance of stretching and drinking water. Because you guys may be outside or you can do this inside and I don't need you guys passing out. So it's important to know when you guys are sick, don't feel well, tired, or just need a break. It's important to go take a rest when you need to. Okay? So now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing stretches. Ready, AJ? Alright, me and AJ are gonna help you guys show how to do the stretches and some of them AJ's gonna do by himself. The first one we're gonna do is what AJ's doing right now. It's a right arm stretch. We're gonna do that for 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, AJ. Now we're gonna go to the left arm stretch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, AJ. Now we're gonna do arm circles. If you're doing this with somebody, make sure you give them enough room so you can both do it at the same time. Right? Ready, AJ? We're gonna do this for 10 seconds. We're gonna go frontwards first. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, buddy. <laughs> now we're gonna go backwards, all right, guys? AJ went backwards there, but now he's gonna go frontwards. We're gonna go frontwards, okay? I'll do backwards. Ready? Okay, we're gonna do this for 10 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do leg stretches. This, this is backward. This is front. Yep. Show sure you guys a great skill to know. Ready? As you can see, AJ's taking a break now because it's hot up here. Again, it's important to know when you need to break or need water. If you need that at any point, take your time and rest. And you come back to the video. Ready, right, AJ? Now we're gonna do leg stretches. Put your legs together, and you go down for 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna spread our legs apart. After AJ takes no quick breath, right side for about 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now we're gonna go down to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna go down the middle after AJ gets a little break. Again, it's important to take breaks. It's really hot up here, you guys. Ready, AJ? Okay, we're gonna go down the middle. Ready, make Here we go. Down the middle. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Alright, we're gonna have to do that again? Yeah. Alright. AJ's gonna demonstrate how to do it first. 
for about 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Go. Hey guys, welcome to lesson four of your fitness club for the summer. Uh, you guys just saw the first half of the video, which is something you could do inside or outside. Uh, I know I'm normally outside based on those first uh, videos, but today it has been raining and still is raining, even though it does look sunny outside. It's really hot and rainy. I don't like that type of weather and uh, I can't be outside today. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit and we are going to be going over the food pyramid. So this is probably gonna be a two part lesson. Uh, this lesson's first and then the next one, we'll probably go over the first half of the food pyramid because it is a lot of information to learn. And uh, I encourage you guys to write it down because this is something you could do over the summer uh, to get fit, to be healthy, etc. cetera. So uh, you guys may have learned the food pyramid already. Uh, I haven't learned it since fifth grade, I believe. Uh, sometime in elementary, maybe a grade you guys are in, fourth, kinder, first, second. Any of those grades you guys probably could have learned it. Um, so the first thing is going to be, it's going to be the top of the pyramid. So what you guys want to do is get a piece of paper, construction paper, get uh, crayons, pencils, markers, anything. And we are going to make this food pyramid so you guys can hang on your in your room, hang it in the kitchen, just uh, somewhere where you can see it so you guys have it. So when you guys are working out, you guys know what is good for you to eat, how much of it and what's bad for you and how much of that that you should be able to that you should eat uh, in order to stay healthy as well as, of course, keeping active uh, every single day. So like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, start with the top of the pyramid, which is gonna be very small. And it's going to be a small triangle. So I'm gonna show you how I drew that. See, uh, it's very small. It doesn't need, need to be too big because it is the smallest portion of the, of the pyramid. And this is going to be, sorry guys. Uh, we're gonna label this the, Foods that you do not eat every day. Okay, so I'll give you guys time to write that in. Foods that you do, don't eat every day. So I wrote it down like that. You guys can write it on a different way that you guys want to. So uh, now that I give you guys time to write it down, 
these are the foods that are going to be high in sugar, high in fat, and high in salt. So I'll give you guys time to write that down. Okay, now that I give you guys time, uh, this is how I wrote it. Uh, it's hard, it's a little hard to read, but I'm using a whiteboard, whiteboard marker. <laughs> uh, so let me give you some examples of what types of food uh, that should be in this part of the pyramid. It's going to include your drinks like soda. It's going to include your uh, hot Cheetos. It's going to be your candy, uh, your Oreo cookies and even uh, ice cream, although there are some ice creams that are not high in sugar, uh, still, you don't want that every day. So these are just some examples uh, of things that are high in salt and stuff like that. Um, again, these are foods that you don't wanna be eating every single day because they can lead uh, to an unhealthy lifestyle. Uh, I know you guys, mostly, uh, most of you guys are young, super young, so uh, you guys may eat as much as you want sometimes now but believe me you will feel it later on in life um, eating a bad lifestyle can lead uh, to heart disease and it could lead to a lot of different other things that you guys don't want to be experiencing so if you guys keep uh, your healthy lifestyle as young keep active and follow the food pyramid uh, later on in life you'll be uh, healthy as well okay so that was the top of the pyramid uh, I wrote down all the information there and the top of the pyramid is right there. So you guys should have that too. So now we are going to be making the second uh, step of the pyramid, which is just gonna be a little bit bigger. Not too big, cause this is not something that uh, is a big portion of the pyramid. That's how I drew it. It's not too big. Okay. So uh, in this part of the pyramid, it's going to be your things that you don't necessarily eat big amounts of. So uh, I'm going to label this, you eat this in small amounts. Amounts. This is how I wrote it. I know it's hard to read. Sorry, you guys. It's right here. I know it's backwards too, I think. Uh, but I put in small amounts which means that you do not eat a lot of it at a time. So uh, if it's some examples to put in this part of the pyramid are, are going to be your butters and uh, cooking oil. Uh, now, this uh, section of the pyramid may be a little bit tricky. I'll explain why right now. Uh, again, I've just wrote butters, cooking oil. Make sure you guys give yourself space to make the next pyramid section, but I just wrote it like that. Butters and cooking oil on the side. Uh, now when I say butters and cooking oil, uh, it doesn't mean you're eating sticks of butter. I doubt you, any of you guys are doing that and uh, drinking cooking oil. Uh, it says in small amounts and it doesn't mean not every day because uh, in reality, some of you may eat this every day and I, including myself, may eat this every single day because uh, personally, when I eat eggs, I use cooking oil or in certain foods that you eat, uh, there's gonna be butter. It's just important to know that you guys should not be excessively putting uh, these certain uh, ingredients into your foods because say you are eating a salad and you decide you want to put butter for whatever reason. Uh, yes, you're eating a salad, but you just put butter <laughs> and you're eating salad and butter. I, I know you guys, none of you guys are going to do that. <laughs> Never tried that and I don't want to. But uh, if you see, if you get my point, uh, I'm trying to say that if you add too much of these ingredients into whatever food it may be, it will make it unhealthy. 
Uh, that's why this is in the next part of the section because it's not necessarily something that you don't eat every single day or you do eat every single day. It's just something that you should watch for the certain amounts that you eat of it. Because uh, you can eat this every day, just not very big portions. Uh, you don't want to put a whole stick of butter when you're making food. If some of you guys make food, I, mean, I don't use a whole stick of butter uh, when I eat potatoes, mashed potatoes, for example, fresh potatoes. Uh, sometimes I put butter in it, but I don't use a whole stick. I just use a little a bit amount, so it's not too bad. Uh, again, with egg, for example, I don't put excessive amount of cooking oil when I cook it. I just put a little bit, just enough uh, to get the egg cooking. All right. So that is going to be the first top, two tops of the pyramid. Uh, again, your guys' pyramid should look like this for now. Uh, you guys can decorate it, color it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, you guys can even color in the triangles to color label which parts of the uh, food pyramid they are. But in our next lesson, we're going to be going over the bottom half of the food pyramid. All right, so see you guys later.